Okay, so this is where we left off, and welcome back to this video. So, as you, like I said, we'll be doing an automatic wheat harvester. See, and you need a diamond hoe, I forgot to mention that in the last video. And you need some dirt, of course. That was another thing that I forgot. So, what you want to do, find an open space. I'll do mine five long. Actually, no, 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 no. Four long, and then the water can drop into there with the wheat. So, what you want to do, You don't have to make them the same size on that because it would just be easier for me to do this. The quicker I make it, the quicker it can get done. And yes. Okay, so I'll build it like this. And then next, also, there's another thing I forgot, I don't know why I'm forgetting this now, but you need some wheat. Then what you want to do, you want to do that. Make sure you got all that. Again, I think it's really annoying. Why is it turning back to mud? Oh well, let's just forget about that for now. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna get some sort of barrier that you want so the water don't go past. What I'll be using is so a block of gold. So when you've done your barrier, it should look some sort like that, and then you need the barrier again on the other side. Okay, so there's my barrier, so it just comes straight down here, and the wheat should drop into that hole. So, let's start. Okay, stop inviting me, please. I don't want to be invited right now. So what should happen is, the water should drop down into there. If I can build it right. Okay, so there we go. What you want to do, you want to build that too wide, and then, I don't know why I did that. So now, what we've got the sticky pistons for, okay, we don't want them facing up, we want them facing that way. And then you got your block where, uh, fuck's sake, don't know. But, was it me? So you got your block there. Uh, 
the next thing you need is your redstone. Redstone is really important for this. So if you don't have your redstone, then you're kind of stuck. You may not want to go all the way to the end. So what we're going to do is do levers either side. Okay, so now we need to make that an extra one high because I kind of did it wrong. I'll just look turn and... Okay, so I've got a whole bunch of people on 9 now and I'll probably want to join someone's party now. But I'm not going to join because I'm doing a video. Okay, instead of doing that... We need to bring it out air uh, because what we need to do is you need to bring the redstone around here and the lever won't get all the way down to all the way down it stops here so what you want is you know so if we try this again just try and turn the lever off and it should pull it back if it don't let me do it wrong Okay, I realise we put the lever in the wrong place and let's send torch. The lever needs to go there. So the lever's there. You can turn that on and it pushes it. So then you don't really need that redstone there. So if I kind of did it wrong there, just ignore it. So it pushes it out. Do the same on this side. If I remember how. Like that. There we go. I need to join this party, but not yet. So then you do the same on this side as you did to the last. Is it in the right place? Yes, it's in the right place. So then you want to keep it closed. The reason why you want to keep it closed is this is where the water is going to go. So now we need the water. And I went straight past it. So let's put the water where that is. And some more water. There's the chicken bucket away. So the whole idea about this, when you pull that, water should come straight down. But I just remembered I needed an extra block there. So as you can see, it misses out them two blocks. So what you do, you build, you build it two up there, and it comes all the way down there into that hole, like I said. So now let's just turn it off. So my idea did work. So at nine minutes, and it took us nine minutes. So there it goes, blocked off, water's stopped, water's still in there. 
let's get this thing started, shall we? So let's start planting the seed, and then I'll get them to grow, and then we'll watch them. This is going to take a while. Um, yeah, please do two out of time. The reason why I'm doing it row at a time is because normally, I don't know why, but see what I mean, it's turning back to dirt. Like that. Okay, so let's make it grow now. Okay. Okay, that looks weird. Okay, so there's my wheat farm as you can see. And now we want to harvest it. Let's just harvest it, shall we? So there's the water coming down. Oh, okay, that was not planned. It leaked out the back. Oh, uh, yeah, we've got to put the back on it. No, stop leaking. Oh, I'm not joking now, stop leaking. Okay, so there we go, stop the game, it should be going for the front now. Yeah, there we go. It's going for the front, we want to run it for about a minute or so, just so it can all come down. Now, once you think it's all came down, turn it off, and let's chuck some, actually no, we don't need to chuck something away. Now we've got to wait for it to all turn off, all the water stop running, and then we're done. So, we got loads of wheat, let's see how much wheat we actually got. 36 wheat and we got 57 seeds. Uh, that wasn't too bad. So there was another design. Thank you for watching. Please like, rate, comment and subscribe.